Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, y'all. I think about the last time I did something for the community. They practice and shooting me. I guess I did something wrong. Something that can't be settled over a game of pong. But these niggas came bearer arms. I'm still writing songs. Never want to leave my home. Stay in the sheets. Sucking tits until it's sunny morning. Excuse me, grand rising stack piling. She got her own money. We just high fiving sexual organs. Cause that's what gods and goddesses do. Let me know if that's an issue. I'm a firm believer in residual income. I don't know if women still use Land calm, but my product's way fucking better. Shoot stack hey, cheddar. Hey, uh. I know you're waiting for another episode. Uh, another episode. I know you've been waiting for another episode. I know you've been waiting. Yeah, let it fucking go. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> oh, y'all can't hear the music, my bad. <laughs> Yo, welcome back. Center Stage with Lord Shoot X. You watching another episode of Lord of Perfected Work. I am Lord Shoot X. I'm a polymath based out of Georgia. Not the island, Georgia, but the actual state in the United States of America. Which America? North America. <sighs> Y'all, when I tell you I had to muster up the strength to get on here and do this shit and find, find some kind of meaning to my life right before I had got on here, I'm not lying. <laughs> I had to find to find meaning, bro. <laughs> All right, shameless plugs. See the website. This is I'm I'm doing something different today. Y'all see the website, right? Go there. Follow me on Instagram. Hit me up. I'm always well, not really. I'm not I'm not always on that bitch. But hit me up anyways. Shoe loves rebels LLC. Facebook, same name, Shoe Loves Rebels LLC. You can like my page on Facebook. I put all my little personal things on there. Y'all can check that shit out. Also, if you uh like in what I'm doing on these streams, please, please, please get on Twitch and make an account and subscribe, man. Subscribe to this channel. You know what I'm saying? Showing love and support to your boy. I really appreciate it if you did that for your boy. Make an account, man. Get on there. Fuck with your boy. Also, you can turn on your notifications so when I do go live on this piece, y'all will know. Because obviously, shitty feelings and crappy ass day couldn't stop me from getting on here. So obviously, I'm, I'm in this bitch till the wheels fall off. You feel me? So, thanks. And let's get into it. So I'm wearing blue jeans right now. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. <laughs> but for real though, I got I got on blue jeans. They uh they're pretty baggy, you know. I'm feeling I'm feeling like uh Cisco or something right now. I'm on my 90 shit today. Got on the tie dye, you feel me? Shit looking real, real tie dye. Look like the uh the hands, the tool of God, you know what I'm saying? The, the penises of the, of America But yeah Figure I'll show y'all You know the fit Feeling real 1990 today Shout out to the 90s babies Yeah what's good All my 90s babies in the house What's happening So Today One of them days That a girl goes through Feeling like Monica right now. Don't take it personal. My bad. I don't know what's going on with me today, y'all. I just wanted to get on here and talk to the people about a couple discoveries. Because it's Thursday, but it feels like no day. It feels like ain't shit going on in the world. I kind of feel like I ain't the only one that feel like this right now. 
So you know, if you if you going through that kind of feeling like ain't shit happening, ain't nothing going on type feel, you know what I'm saying? Holla at your boy. Maybe we can start a Facebook group called Niggas Who Don't Know What's Coming Next. And we can get more people to get on there because I'm pretty sure it's a lot of people that don't know what's coming next. I for sure as hell do. <laughs> but I just play like I don't. <laughs> you know, it'd be funny how sometimes you be, you be so impatient because you know the shit that's coming next. Because life is these funny ass cycles, right? You got the ups and the downs. And my ups be way up and my downs be way down. <laughs> so when I know my shit on the on the ground, like underground, well my shit in the basement with I'm talking about the basement like there's no walls. It's just like dirt. Dirt walls. I don't know how this basement ain't caved in, but we down here making music in the dirt wall basement. And the fucking the shit ain't caved in on us, like we still safe. I'm down here in the basement right now, just trying not to fucking end it all. And I'm just like, damn. I know being in this basement, it's like uh, I'm in a bear market right now. <laughs> when the market drop, I'm in the bear market. It's it's a bear trend. But right after the bear trend, you know, I done hibernated a little bit. I feel like hibernation season about to be over because we got the cancer moon coming up in a few days. It's a new moon too. And y'all, y'all, uh, if y'all into astrology, y'all should check out your north node and your south node. I'm going to type that in there. North node, south node. If you don't believe in reincarnation, then this is the... The south node is you as a kid, and the north node is you as an adult. And usually your adult shit come after your uh, Saturn return, which is your first your first Saturn return. You have a total of however many, I mean, there's three in the average human life of Saturn returns. And basically what Saturn, Saturn, Saturn return is, is when Saturn comes back into the place that it was when you were born. So, um, like uh, your astrological chart as a child, or as when you're first born, or your natal chart is what it's called technically. Um, on this natal chart, you can see where Saturn was, what house, and what planet. And matter of fact, I'm gonna just keep it funky. What planet, or what sign? My bad. What sign that Saturn was in when you were born so i think it takes 30 and a half years for saturn to come back to that spot because saturn is a slow ass planet like it just takes a long time but when that the saturn returns to the natal spot where it was when you were born then your north your north node kicks in and that's when shit start getting interesting. Now, just recently I had my Saturn turn. Actually, I'm experiencing it now, which is why I'm in the low, low, low. Like the fucking Kroger commercial with T-Pain for those who live in America. And for those who don't live in America, y'all know the T-Pain song. Shawty got low, low. She had the Reeboks with the jeans. I, I had to remember the lyrics. Boots with the fur. Yeah, don't sue me T-Pain. He got a Twitch channel too, man. It's it's, it's actually kind of annoying. I, I don't want to say that he's annoying, but his Twitch stream is annoying. But I ain't hating, man. Get your money, player. But yeah, you know, when shit get low, 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 that means shit about to get fucking high, super high. And it's going to be like almost like unreal how high, like super high. It's gonna feel unreal. And I know that I'm going through that right now. For all the people that's going through it right now, you're not alone. Uh, we can really start this Facebook group. Niggas that don't know what's coming next. I'm I'm down, I'm down with the shits. 
we can definitely do that. But yeah. I just know that uh, for myself, I'll be really impatient. And patience was never my strong suit. But that's who I am. I mean, my fucking... My fucking astrological chart got me basically set up to be a crazy ass motherfucker. So it's just hard for me to not be like a crazy ass motherfucker. <laughs> you feel me? It's just automatic. It's, I'm set up for this shit. You know, every day is a new day that you should take and run with it. Even when shit start getting you really fucked up. I.E. people. Because people be having me fucked up. But you know I don't even trip man. Because I got a real one. She be keeping me from going fucking postal. Granted. I do the same for myself too. Don't get it twisted y'all. My self love is on a thou wow. It's just sometimes I be forgetting that I'm actually in myself and that I'm like the creator. And I be like, man, fuck all this shit. Can I just go back to how quiet it was when there wasn't other things around making noise? Making all this goddamn noise. Then I think about myself like, nigga, you make a lot of noise too. You be spazzing out, bro. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> But it's cool, man. Sometimes you gotta have moments like that to clear out the energy, you know? Energy gets stagnant when you go, when you spaz the fuck out. That shit just had to come out, you know what I'm saying? That energy had to be expressed. Now that it's expressed, you know, don't live in it forever. Like, I had to get somebody to tell me that shit. Because I ain't perfect. I say that all the time on these streams, bro. I ain't perfect. It's tough being Lord Shoe X sometimes, but that's the beauty of it. That's the beauty of being me. You'll never have to worry about some sucker ass nigga ever trying to slow you down from being the real you because you're always gonna be you. That's for sure. That's one thing about me that I can't never let go is being me. I used to have a hard time being me and I got past that so I know I can get past this shit for the longest fucking time. But I used to hate me. I used to hate everything I did, so I would do even worse things to justify that. That's terrible. <laughs> That's a terrible way to live. <laughs> like, I hate myself, so I'm gonna fuck all these bitches, man. <laughs> I hate myself. I'm about to fuck this nigga's girlfriend. Like, what? <laughs> How does that even equate to your self-worth, nigga? I don't know, but I'm gonna do it anyway, shit. Like, bruh. When I, when I get on here and I just say these things out loud and I think about all the shit that I done went through personally and the things that I've done to hurt others and myself at the same time, I always think like, damn, I done came a long way. I done came a super long way. But that was only because I hated humanity and this world and myself so much that I couldn't kill y'all because I would rather live so dark <laughs> than the fucking like my my uh I have Capricorn in a sign or I have Capricorn not in a sign but in a planet where it's like following laws and code of conduct which is Jupiter so to have Capricorn and Jupiter is like oh you're not gonna break any laws. You're not gonna fucking do anything bad. If you do, it's like secret. You keep everything pretty secretive, except like, if it's just stupid. Like, I'm, I'm the type of person too. Like, I have a sign in my chart that's in another planet where if I just see something that doesn't make sense, like, I'm not finna be like, oh, man, I I'm gonna listen to your opinion. Like, nah, if I clearly see it's just dumb as fuck, like, I'm not gonna go through with this shit. Like, it's just dumb. Like, Nigga, killing people is stupid. If you you go to jail forever, bro, what you think is gonna happen if you kill people? Like, don't do stupid shit. So I'm just like, you know what? I'm gonna just follow the law within the confines of myself. Cause like I had to like, bro, I, when I found out that making armies was illegal, I had to literally stop making my own army. 
and it hurt, bro. And I'm only saying this because I don't have an army anymore, but just know that too. If you're going to do some shit like how I'm doing, don't don't create an army. Just 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 leave that type of shit alone. <laughs> don't go around training motherfuckers to like assassinate niggas like just leave that shit alone, bro. Cuz been there done that and I didn't know it was illegal. And when I found out it was illegal, I was like, hey, bro, I really fuck with you guys, but we can't do this. <laughs> they not finna kick in my family's cribs, doors. Like, fuck that, nigga. And I'm only telling y'all this because I fuck with y'all, man. Like, sometimes you, you start a certain thing and then you can start certain things and then end up being like, nah, that's not gonna work. Like, there's always... The message I've been getting a lot lately is there's always another way to do something. Like... You don't have to create an army. There's, you all you can do is just come into a position of power, where there's already an army attached to that position of power, and then just do it that way. Then you don't have to worry about niggas like, uh, we're here to see uh, what's this nigga's name again? He got some crazy ass name, Lord Shucks. Yeah, we're here to uh take him into booking. I don't know what a, sh a Lord Shucks is. He, there's no Lord Shucks here. <laughs> hey man, my grandma really shit, bro. Cause some shit like that happened one time, bro. <laughs> that shit was so hard, bro. I was like, hey, I looked at, I look at her totally different. Cause she really like kept me from like these niggas like throwing me on the ground and putting their kneecaps on my neck. Like it really could have went sideways, cause. The last time I got into an encounter with the police, bro, the niggas almost killed me. Like, I, I and that song, God Honest Truth, bro, these niggas put a taser to my chest. Like, hey, bro, if you don't calm the fuck down, we tasing the shit out of you, nigga. Now, I don't know what old girl did to get me out of the gym, but, hey, shout out to you, because I'm here, and I'm doing this shit, so I'm hoping it amounts to something, because, goddamn, <laughs> I could be a victim, bro. <laughs> But I'm never a victim. I could have been a victim. But I don't do the victim shit. Like, that was the first time I sat in the back of a cop car. And it was just, like, funny. Because I'm in the back of the cop car. I ain't even tripping, bro. I'm just thinking, like, I'm finna get out, so. Like, I wasn't even finna call my mom's. Like, yo, I done got locked up. They finna rape me. Because I'm a pretty motherfucker. And me being in jail... I feel like I'm gonna turn into goddamn Bruce Lee and that bitch. Like, <laughs> if I if I ever went to jail, bro, I will spend every living moment punching walls and pulling bars like so hard, like, bro, <laughs> just like doing wild shit, bro, beating up on like metal metal uh, bed frames and shit, like just just doing some more wild ass shit, man. Just keeping my mind from like cracking, cause. It's, Knowing me, man, they'll have my ass in the hole like every day for some wild shit. This nigga shoot and stab somebody again, bro. This nigga shoot and choke the nigga out in commissary, bro. This nigga chew, done beat a nigga up with a book from the library, cuz. He done beat his cellmate up with a fucking library book, cuz. Like, I ain't gonna sleep. I'm gonna be so goddamn crazy. They gonna have to, like, I'm gonna be feral like a damn wild ass raccoon or something. So, that's why God never put me in prison, cuz I would've. I would have went to jail for some petty shit, but by the, but when I got out, bro, they went the, these niggas would have had to kill my ass after I got out of jail. That's why I, that's why I did end up in jail. Like I know that for a fact, cause these niggas either gonna try and kill me, they gonna try and rape me, right? So first thing I'm gonna do, off rip, I train already as it is. So off rip, I'm just like I ain't even I ain't even trying to hurt nobody. I be in jail beating niggas up for no reason, like, bitch, god damn nigga, why you slapping like that, I don't fucking know, motherfucker was looking crazy, had to slap his ass back into reality real quick, so it's just not meant for me to be a criminal, so, cause I'm already fucking crazy as a, as a good citizen of earth, so me being a goddamn criminal, bruh, I probably be I they would have smoked my ass basically. I would have been smoked a long time ago. So just be happy that Lord Shoe X is a man of the people. 
spiritually in tune with himself. You know what I'm saying? Living his living his best life, not his tested life. Cause shit could have really got critical. But I'm just glad that I'm here with y'all for real. Cause I feel so much better now. Like shit is nice. It really is. Like, I don't know how this this woman be... I don't know, bro. She say shit to me, and I'm just like, why the fuck you still here, bro? <laughs> she be so positive, bro. And I'm just like, dog, I'm finna murk all... I'm finna murk this... Fuck. <laughs> like, I be wildin', bro. I really be fucking wildin'. But it's cool. You know, I don't really trip too much. Because I just have, like, positive influences that keep me from wildin' the fuck out, so... Shout out to the positive influences. And then just coming on on here, just laying, laying all these, these things inside of my head and getting rid of them. That's why I do this shit, bro, to get the shit out of my head and let it be. If, if it comes back, cool. If it goes, cool. But as far as I'm concerned, I have no desire to keep any of this information I be saying. I just tell it to y'all because somebody might actually need this just like how i need doing how i need these streams to get my feelings and shit out somebody might need this stream to feel at peace or feel like man i'm not the only crazy motherfucker on twitch <laughs> you know what i'm saying so appreciate y'all for coming in and listening shit could could it be fucking crazy but you know Life is what it is, man. Every day is a new test to not fucking go off the deep end. And as much shit as I be going through mentally, I ain't even counting the actual shit that goes on in my reality, but the mental shit, the emotional shit, because my, emotion, my emotional center is starting to come back into view like as being a priority. Because I only probably feel the way I do most of the time is because of that. Like, you know, uh, being in a certain mindset, you're like, damn, bro, I feel like shit all the time. It's only because of the shit around you and what you decide to take in instead of just observing, you absorbing. See, I be trying to observe more, but sometimes, like, my empathy have me absorbing shit. Other people's shit, shit that I see on TV, Shit that I see on the internet, like, I can feel niggas' feelings through dig uh, social media and just digital shit in general. So it don't even really be my feelings. That's why I had to get this shit out of my brain, man. Like, I spent today just learning about myself, just being with myself and taking in as much information about me as possible. That's why I, I feels really timeless today. I don't know about y'all, but today just feels timeless as fuck, like... I feel like I woke up and it's already 6.24 p.m. Like, god damn, man. What the fuck happened to today? <laughs> like, shit. Today went by so fucking fast, bro. But, hey, who knows? It's all part of the journey, you know what I'm saying? We can't all just be living perfect lives. Because the people who live perfect lives, they were meant to live these lives. Shit, shit happened to them in the past life that they was like, man, I gotta live like this, bro. So I can, so when I move on to the next life, that's it, bro. I don't need, I don't, I don't need this type of pressure. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to feel this pressure in this life, cause the last life, bro, was hell. So I look at it like this: if your shit start out a certain way, it's gonna end a certain type of way, due to how shit started out, you know what I'm saying? As a See, I look at reincarnation like this. You experience your reincarnated past life as a child, and then you experience your uh new life as an adult, and you also experience your new life as a child at the same time. Like I love how there is no time and that we just literally exist in all these different dimensions at once. The shit really be fire as fuck cuz the past life is your childhood and your adulthood is your present and future, right? Well, I wouldn't say right because y'all probably don't know. I'm not going to assume that y'all don't know either, but I'm going to just say right anyway. 
but all this shit happening right now so i just try i'm trying to stay in that area where i'm like man it's my thoughts now and in the future that i'm having is the way i feel the way i do because in the future i feel like this like straight up in the future i feel like this not just this life but the actual future shit crazy right the future version of myself can be tired too it's not like shit always sunny in philadelphia in the future you know what i'm saying i know shit ain't always gonna be fucking amazing it wasn't in the past for me you know what i'm saying so i just always try to keep that mindset positive in the present moment for real because that's gonna make my future self happy and that's gonna make my past self happy too because my inner child is fucking crazy y'all I'm trying to heal this little nigga, and he is like, fuck you, shoe. You ain't shit. So, is, the whole time we was growing up, all you had me doing was adult shit. You had me fucking with roll squadron and bitches. Like, come on, bro. Where the fun shit? But then I'm just like, man, we did have fun. You just, you don't have a way to express yourself now because I haven't given you that outlet yet. But that's because I'm trying to figure out how to do that, homie. I'm going to heal you the best way that I can, okay, homie? Sometimes I just got to sit down and really just think about you first. I know. I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry. I can't help it that right now this world is is crazy. I wasn't expecting that, but I'm sure you didn't expect that as a child either, right? That's why I had you going through Rose Squadron and Hoes. Because you had to learn. This is what life is really like in the future, bro. Be ready. Be ready to break away from that shit. Because now that you've broken away from that shit, you know what's really valuable to you as an adult, right? But you still that little nigga inside of me. I know, bro. No homo. I know you in there, bro. You just gotta you just gotta make it known to me how exactly you wanna go about this shit. And I'ma take it into the present. Now, I was gonna meditate before I did this shit to do that today, but there's no need to meditate you know what i'm saying like i know i genuinely know what's on my heart it's just creating that shit in real in the real world you know what i'm saying that's what a lot of people that go through certain moments in their life they might call it a midlife crisis or whatever the fuck i guess that's what i'm having right now is a midlife crisis but all that is is just saturn return saturn is returning to a spot and my fortune is changing because I was supposed to go through this shit. I was supposed to learn that family ain't shit unless you make it something. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's gonna be individuals, right? If everybody's working towards their own individual thing, that's the only way that you can truly heal the people around you and your family. So, going through that lesson, probably the hardest lesson because I'm a very family-oriented person. Well, maybe in my childhood I was, but that's because the only people I dealt with mostly in my childhood was my immediate family. When I came back to the States, all the people I grew up with started acting like they was goons and thugs and uh, gangbangers. Nigga, you grew up on base with me, bro. You grew up on a military base with me, bro. You is you not crip, you not folk, you not blood. You a fucking bitch. Because I used to beat your ass up and you taller than me now, bro. And I was shorter than you then. That's what I'm saying, bro. These niggas get lost and they don't they they be trying to grow up and become some shit that don't even align with they self. Cause I remember how you were as a kid. Granted, we did have like a gang when I was growing up though. That's the that's I that's what I called our gang was Rose Squadron. And I called it that after uh Lou Skywalker and the Rebellion. His uh flight unit was called Rose Squadron. And of course, of course I'm Lou Skywalker, bro. Come on. I'm motherfucking Lou Skywalker. Look at me. So y'all already know what shit I was on growing up. Like, ain't shit really about me changed, man. Except the fact that I started taking on shit that didn't apply to my life. I had my first business as a child. Okay, y'all? I was selling snow cones and cookies. I had my mama making cookies for the kids, man, in the neighborhood. Me and my brother making snow cones and shit. Like, oh, that's just an email. Let me turn this shit off. Yeah, man, we out here, like, really... Like move, move and work. My brother was selling pictures. He would, he was a fire drawing. Like, 
this nigga can draw still. But growing up, this man was like a genius at drawing. Like he can draw shit from his memory. So he used to sell pictures of cartoons for, for I think, 50 cents or some shit like that. So we selling, he, he's selling these pictures. I'm selling snow cones and toys and cookies, candy. I'm, I'm getting to the bag, man. But the thing is, where I fucked up in my adult life is I started not doing it for myself. I was doing it for other companies. Now, in 2017, I started my first company, right? Uh, Sky Lounge Recordings LLC, which was my first shit. And basically, I started it for other fucking people. So I fucked up then and there at that same time. But now I know I'm on the right path. Because now I just started Shoe Loves Rebels LLC, which is my Instagram and my Facebook page. You can like my Facebook page. Y'all hit me up on IG. You know what I'm saying? I'll be on that hoe. If you want to get to this, uh, all these links faster, just go to the website that's up under me, shoelovesrebels.com. Real shit. I'm always uh, available. My phone number is linked up to my Instagram. So you trying to say, shoot your boy a text or call me and you feeling like, oh man, life sucks dick. I need to talk to somebody. Hey, I don't mind talking to you because on the real, I be feeling like that sometimes too. And I wish I can call somebody that's not my girl because I'm pretty sure she get tired of my shit when it comes to stuff like that. I'll be like, God damn, man. I just want to blow my brains out. She be like, shoot, you, you're awesome. You, you got to stop that bullshit. You know what I'm saying? So let's call each other. Let's let two psychos call each other. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, website down below. Hit that shit up. Now, back to what I was saying. I started my first shit when I was a young motherfucker, bro. And it was for me. I was getting to the bag on my own. I wasn't getting to the bag for nobody else besides fam. Like, we had to put the money back into what we was doing. Because snow cone stuff cost money. Fucking cookies cost money. Toys cost money. Pokemon cards. All that shit cost money. And trust me, we was in the BX like a motherfucker. As soon as my mom let me go over to the BX on base, bro, which uh, BX is the base exchange where you buying shit. You can buy candy from the BX. You can buy drinks. They got Pokemon cards in there. It's like basically like the candy store for us. So that was where we was getting our inventory and shit from. Was from the the base exchange. You see how how advanced I was as a child. That's why I know like now I should probably live my real childhood now. And just get, like, get busy, you feel me? Like, it's time to get busy. But I'm at a loss right now. I I just don't know where to even start. I started this new company, Shoe Loves Rebels LLC, right? And basically, the point of this was, it's basically like, it's like a private infrastructure just for individuals. So basically, if you wanted to create an infrastructure, I can show you how to do this shit. I can show you how to set this shit up. I can show you who to go to to build your shit in case you don't have the technological savvy to do it yourself. I can show you all the little notes and things over my life on my first business that I took. Because my first business was a six-figure business, okay? I did this on my own. But it costs money to run a business. So when you constantly put money back into traveling... Uh, taking care of people, making sure food in the crib, making sure you got food, making sure you can travel anywhere, making like shit costs a lot of money. 10k goes so fast, bro, so fast. 5k goes so fast. 7k, bro. That's why I'd be like, I need a billion dollars today. I need a billion dollars right now, cause resources cost money. Even as a child, I knew this. I can't, okay, yeah, I might have sold a bunch of product that I had. I sold all this candy, all these toys and shit like that. But I got to get a new bike so I can go pick up the product. Or I got to get new tires or I got to get a bike pump. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was I already had this kind of in my head, but I didn't want to be taken care of then. And I don't want to be taken care of now, to be honest with you. So... That's what I'm saying, like, some people be getting caught up in that shit of, man, I don't know, like, fuck it, I'm, I'm gonna start this shit and I'm gonna just, fuck, I can't do this right, fuck, I'm gonna just quit the shit, like, nah, bro, ain't no option for that. 
The first shit I started, bro, I ended up defunct in that business. Like, that shit is dissolved as fuck. Ain't no SLR no more. That shit is gone, bro. There's a lot of people put heart, money, and soul into that shit, and it's gone. Because when everybody don't have the same dream as you, why Why do y'all work? Why is y'all working towards something together? That shit is retarded. My bad. That's not politically correct. That shit suck. <laughs> that shit suck, okay? Because then you, you end up doing all the work, and ain't nobody have as much go as you. You gotta, y'all all gotta be motivated. If not, the people around you need to be more motivated about seeing you win. Like my girl is, she wanna see me win so bad. She like, bro, I believe in what you're doing. I'm like, damn, you got more faith in the shit than I do sometimes, sometimes. Cause I be believing, I believe this shit too, man. Honestly, I, I went and paid money to start LLC cause I believe in myself to be able to do the shit again. I'm just not finna repeat the same process because I had links that I don't have no more. I had people I was working with that had me in certain places. Like I'm I'm doing this on my own, bro. Granted, I got connections now that I could use, but nah, bro. I gotta get it out the mud. Cause that's how I can't deal with other people, man. Other people don't see shit how you know they don't have the same vision as me. And whenever you starting a business or you doing any kind of project, it don't even gotta be a business. You doing a community project. You wanna help you know Homeless people in your community. You got to find people that's as motivated as you are about helping homeless people. If not more, they got to be more passionate about the shit. Because those are the people that's going to keep you motivated. Like, damn, this, this nigga don't sleep. He up at 2 in the morning helping homeless people. I'm in a motherfucking bed. I, I got to get up. Like, nah, bro. If this is your real passion, you got to be you got to be on that shit every day. Real shit. And you got to be around people who... They literally, look, I got a homie, he's a rapper, right? He literally tour. He literally uh, do shows all the time. Fucking got uh, an entourage that he roll with that, you know, make sure he's safe. Keep that yam on. Make sure he got what he need. If he needs some some uh, weed, because, you know, that's part of his image and shit. Studio time. Like, he got all the tools he need around him. And they work, they going hard for him. They keeping him motivated to keep his shit going, right? See, that's what I got. I got my shit. I got a little team. It ain't a huge team, but I got me and my girl right now. <laughs> but that's that's a that's a good enough start. I feel like for me, because I know shit get crazy. She gonna I don't know why, but she gonna stick around. That might change tomorrow, but who knows? I can't think like that. I gotta think about right now, right? The shit that's happening right now, I'm moving forward to make shit happen in my company. If I did this last shit like that, I know I can do it this time, right? It's just about more or less just sitting with yourself and really getting to know yourself even more. Like, and you, you can never know yourself too much. You know, I thought I knew pretty much everything about me, but still, still, I'm learning shit about myself every day. So much so that I'm getting to the point where it's like, damn, I really don't know myself too much at all because I'm still learning more and more and more shit. So never, ever feel like you can't learn more. Don't overload yourself with information from the outside because all that shit is already in here. It just take tapping in and calming down and having somebody around you who's going to calm you down. Make sure you cool. Make sure you stay in the bigger picture mindset instead of worrying about all the little details and the minuscule shit. Like, team members. Not fucking employees. Team members. We a team. We're members of the team. <laughs> That's why I be like, damn, bro. Sometimes I do get overwhelmed by my own shit. But at the end of the day, I got real team members. I got somebody who really holding me down right now. Like, you can't beat it, man. It could go, it can go into a direction where one day she might decide that, damn, man, I can't fuck with you no more. I need to take that information and all that, that inspiration and stay in that mode. Like, I'm in that mode now because you never know what could happen. Some wild shit could happen, bro. Any day. Of course your thoughts is what bring that to you but at the same time i always try to think positive so that it doesn't 
the more positive I am, the better off I'll be, right? Now, I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend anybody to just be positive to a fault where you just being delusional. You know what I'm saying? Be real with yourself, too. That's why I be real with myself a lot of the time. And I be feeling like how I be feeling today. Like, man, I don't know if it's worth it because I want I want to help people, but I don't gotta I don't have to carry that that weight, you know what I'm saying? Like that's that's what I'm getting told. Don't carry all the weight of the world on your shoulders because you're trying to help people. Like help people by being you. Live just doing this stream. That's all I gotta do. Just being me, being quirky ass Lord X. That's all I gotta do. I don't gotta do nothing else too too crazy. I don't gotta be out here in the streets at two in the morning really helping homeless people. Like as long as I do my part of giving y'all information, showing y'all my true self, showing y'all that hey it's okay to be you, showing y'all that I don't just do this shit because I'm trying to play a role. It's really who I am. That's enough. If I can get on here, no shame. Hell, I'll blow my nose on here. I'll cry on this bitch. I'll do the whole nine on here. And be myself, man. That's going to inspire more people on this planet to do the same. That's all I want. I just want to inspire people, man. Easy, easy grow. Oh, no. Hey, man. We got to get these bots out of here, man. Got to get rid of these damn bots. See? Already. I see it happening now, man. But it's all good. Hey, if y'all on this this stream and y'all watching, do not click the, this chat link, man. Because it looked like some bullshit. It looked like a virus. <laughs> Stay away. Hold on. How you, how you get this shit off of here? Click to reply. Damn, man. I'm trying to delete this shit so y'all don't click on it. Hey, man. Fuck it. But yeah. Just always takes tapping into that that history, that south node, so I know exactly how to move in my north node, because that's really what's gonna liberate me is following structure, you know the the path of structure. And structure in doing things my way, because my sun is in Aries, my ascendant is in Leo. Like. I'm powered by this shit. I'm I'm powered by the sun completely. My Mars energy is in Aquarius. So I don't have a choice but to see shit on a bigger picture. My voice, my communication is also in Aquarius. Like actually I don't think it's in Aquarius. Hold up. If it was in Aquarius, I feel like I would be talking way weirder. Let's see. Mercury. Nah, my Mercury's in Aries. That's why I talk so goddamn fast and so fucking crazy and passionate. Like I don't I don't know why I feel like I'm on the cusp of my greatest, like my greatest moments all the time, which is why I be feeling so low sometimes in that bear market phase. It's like, you know, the market's about to hit and you about to make like millions of dollars, bro. You just like, damn, God, can you go ahead and make this bull run start? So I can fucking get this millions of dollars already? Like, shit. Like, I've been invested in for almost a half a decade at this point, man. And in, in the market, like, it's go time, baby. Shit. I started working, like, creating my own shit for real, for real since I was a young nigga. But officially, when I uh, turned 27... So, most people aren't even thinking about starting a business. Most of them are trying to find careers, you know, trying to impress people, trying to live up to the expectations of their parents or whatever. And I mean, ain't nothing wrong with that either. You know what I'm saying? Making your parents proud and working towards something. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing wrong with that. Don't let Lord X get on here and make you think something wrong with that because it's, it's nothing wrong with that, y'all. If if you're if you feel like you comfortable uh, pursuing a career and something that you're passionate in and you want to be an employee for someone, there's nothing wrong with that. You know what I'm saying? That's why jobs exist so people like you can go and become you know become somebody in that shit to you. You know what I'm saying? But me personally, 
Can't do it. It's it's not for me. I've been working. I've been working since I was a little nigga. Okay, sixteen years I've been fucking working jobs for other people. Three years I've been working my job that I created for myself and jobs for other people. So I'm telling you, man, it, it can be tough sometimes for real. Just seeing people like, and, and you and you gotta deal with people like, oh man. This nigga ain't doing shit. He he just fucking. He got he doing. I don't I don't know what people thinking. Cause I really don't give a fuck. But you know how people opinions are, man. When they see you not doing traditional things or not doing something that they want to see you doing, that shit is tough, man. You just got thug it out, bro. Just got thug that shit out. And then like, I done took the leap now where it's like you know what I can't. I don't give a fuck, bro. I'm just gonna I'm gonna take my chances, seeing. What can come of me doing me? 100%. No guaranteed income every day. No nothing. Just taking a chance on me. Look. This shit. If you ain't got. If you ain't fucking built for this shit, man. And you got. And you want to make a career. Like, hey. I'm not. I'm not getting on here to tell anyone that they should start their own business. And get it out the mud. You know, emulate me. I'm only showing y'all that I can I'm taking risks for my personal happiness. And I'm doing something for me for once. 100% for me. So that it can benefit people. It's a lot of shit you got to do in this. It's a lot of responsibilities that come with this shit. You know what I'm saying? trying to keep your mind straight waking up early in the morning meditating so you ain't fucking spazzing all the time like bro it's a lot of shit come with this bro so i'm not telling people they should do this what i'm saying is that if you feeling like something ain't fulfilling to you uh don't don't keep doing it don't don't let the world like push you against the wall where you feel like bro look it's been times where I just said, fuck it, man. And I just literally slept outside, like, on the ground, bro. Straight up. Like, I'm just built like that, bro. I don't give a fuck. Ain't nobody finna have me feeling like I gotta do something because, oh, maybe to be a man, you gotta do this. Like, nigga, I'm a man because I got a dick anyways, bitch. They ain't telling me nothing different. So, regardless, look, I'm taking care of myself. I pretty much... What else what else more do I need to do besides what God put me here to do? So the the best thing to do for me, knowing myself, is to do this. I'm actually doing what I'm supposed to be doing right now. Taking a chance on me. Seeing what work, what don't work. Like that's what I want y'all to understand. Or overstand rather. I want y'all to do what works for y'all and what makes you feel liberated. And what makes y'all feel like, damn, I'm, I'm glad that I did this. Y'all watching me, y'all can see my story and the shit that I had to go through. Because I, like I said, in the beginning of this stream, I done had some high highs and some low lows. But I'm telling you, I'm in the lowest low that I've been in my life. I know I'm due for a miracle. A, a comeback like no other. But only because I'm, I'm not letting my fucking thoughts and my emotions completely take over a hundred percent it'd be days like today where i might feel like damn all i need to do is just recharge my battery real shit that's about the best way i could put it is recharge my battery i gotta do that and you know uh what do they call that shit regroup i gotta regroup pull back and see all right what work? What did I do the last time? What worked this time? What worked the last time? What am I willing to do this time? What am I not willing to do? You know, weighing out the pros and the cons of shit. Now, I just finished a, a very important project. I'm finishing it off, but it's, it's pretty much done for the most part. You know what I'm saying? Like the information I put into it is all in it. All that's left really is just the little details, the editing and visual aspects what other visual aspects i can add to it to make it pretty and shit but once i'm done with this shit now it's music time like i already feel myself just coming into these roles and then i just gotta stay in that that mindset because i'm like 
I'll be either too much in the past or too far in the in the future. And I'm just like, man, just stay present, bro. You already gonna be you're already gonna be in the future and the past at the same time. As long as you stay present, my nigga. Like don't fucking get lost in the sauce, bro. So I just wanna inspire y'all, man, to not give up. Many a time I wanna give up, but I just wanna inspire y'all to not give up. Stay focused. Stay focused. Laser focused. Make sure you got somebody on your team that's making sure that you stay in focus. What you do today? Why you doing this? What's wrong with you? Make sure you got somebody who on they shit, making sure they got more responsibilities than you, okay? That's then the type of people you need to fuck with. Somebody who are already doing what you want to do or got more responsibilities than you or just inspiring, making sure you on your shit, making sure you ain't slipping and falling and can't get up like DMX. Making sure you on your shit, bro, at all times. Because before you know it, you'll look back on this moment. Like I've done several times on all the moments where I've felt like this is the end, bro. This is the end right here. I look back on those times and I'm like, damn, bro, I really got through that a hundred times. I done got through this shit a hundred times. Like, I'm a fucking soldier, bro. <laughs> I'm a motherfucking soldier. Shit can get, shit can get spicy. That is no doubt. Shit can get spicy real quick. But that is the point of life. You would be bored if shit didn't get spicy. If every, imagine everything just being perfect. And you just wake up one day and just everything is just perfect. And you don't even know why shit perfect. You just like, damn, shit perfect. After a while of perfection, bro, you would start to get bored. You're like, damn, bro, I'm... Shit. Where the challenge is at in this motherfucker, bro? Like, everything is the same in this hoe. I'm bored as fuck, bro. <laughs> like, them challenges is what... This shit that I be going through mentally is what's keeping me in the game. For real, for real. For real, for real. That shit keeps me in the game. That shit keep me wanting to keep going. Cause I'm just like, damn, how the fuck I push through this shit? Every time I'm pushing through a whole new, like, whole new wave of, of emotions and and logical thought that just telling me, like, man, you know this ain't gonna happen, right? You know, you know this shit is just a fairy tale, right? You know this is a fantasy, like, no, nigga, get out of my fucking head. Or uh, what my boy Minnow Pond be calling that shit. Stinky thinking or stinking thinking or some shit like that. He called it that, bro. That's what the fuck that shit is. When you have them shitty ass thoughts, that shit make you a snail, bro. Not even the good snail. Not even the snail like your girl or a coochie way and you slide her across your stomach and she leaves like a trail. Not that kind of snail. It's the actual snail, like the one you put salt on and it'd be gross. And it turned into a ball of nothing. Like... I'm trying to get the I'm trying to get the snail with the with the home girl like I don't want I don't want that salty snail <laughs> I don't want the salty snail man but yeah this shit just funny you know Thursday feel like no day for real for real cuz I swear it was Wednesday but it just goes to show you how fast the days and skipped over and really I just wasted today as far as uh, I could have been working on my fucking album, but it wasn't meant for me to work on today. That's just how I look at shit. If it was meant for me to work on it, I would have woke up like, okay, I need to record. Like as soon as this nigga leave, I need to start recording. I didn't have that urge. Actually, I didn't even have an urge to wake up today. I really wanted to just sleep in, but I got up anyways because last night before I went to sleep, I was so excited about uh, going more into depth of my chart that. I ended up doing that today. So really, I did do something. I just learned about me, which I wouldn't equate that to doing shit because I do that already. I do that every day anyways, because I want to know more about me. That's why I can spaz, because I know the depths of my soul. I'm a spaz regardless. I ain't going to listen regardless. I'm going to listen regardless. You know what I'm saying? Like, I make these conscious ass choices. It's not because, oh, you, you lost in emotions, you lost in vibes, like, nah. I choose to feel these ways because it's necessary to my growth. It's necessary to my ascension process. 
because right before the sun comes out, you got to have a storm. And I like storms because they're just like indicators for greatness, a great comeback. The greatest of comebacks. <laughs> I love a good comeback, man. It's just like uh, when I play Mario Party with my cousin and them and my brother. We be on Mario Party, right? And I be losing sometimes the whole game. And then at the very end of the game, bro, I get like 20 stars and I have like 200 coins. I'm winning many games. And, and anybody who know me on Mario Party know that's the shittiest part about that game is mini games. I suck at them. I can't play mini games. I literally win by luck or coins or jugging niggas because they have the option where you can siphon stars and coins for people. So I just run, I rack it up, bro. And I just start stealing everybody's shit. Like, <laughs> I find my strategy. I know where my weaknesses are in that game. Same shit applies to life. Find your weaknesses. Find the, the ways that you can apply shit to that and then beat the game your way. It's, it's, it's really that simple. Everybody got some kind of weakness, right? Mine just so happen to be women. So if I'm just constantly surrounded by women, I can't get weak, right? <laughs> That's That was terrible, man. <laughs> If I'm constantly surrounded by women, man, that means I won't be weakened by them. Because, bro, when I was young, bro, I used to have a crush on girls. Yo. Bef well, all right. I'll put it like this. Before I went to Germany, I could talk to girls because girls used to talk to me like it was cool. Now, when I went to Germany, bro, all that shit went out the window. I don't know why either. Like, I lived there for five years. And, like, all my game just, like, disappeared. When I got on the plane, the game stayed in America. Cause as soon as I got back to America, the gang was waiting. Like, all right, bro. Now that you done got your heart broken and you done, you done, fucking got ripped into shreds and you've been depressed in the foreign and all that bullshit. You ready to get this game back? <laughs> you ready to fuse fusion high? You ready? As soon as I got off the plane, the gang came back, bro. And I was like, damn. I thought I lost it, but I got it back. Like. I hate being here. I know that once I leave here again, I probably become a, such a guru because the shit that it, America is terrible. America is the worst fucking like. Okay, America is a good place to live. I'm not gonna lie because you know where I live at is pretty safe. But as far as like the culture of America is fucking terrible, man. European culture, I'm not gonna lie, is better than American culture because they mind their motherfucking business. They don't be having no major bullshit like that on TV. Like, the first time I seen Dragon Ball, which is, like, one of my favorite animes, was in Germany, in Stuttgart, in a hotel. Couldn't understand what he was saying, but it didn't matter, man. Son Goku. Or however they be saying that shit on the show. <laughs> Son Goku. Look, I, it didn't matter what Son Goku was saying, bro. Like, that was enough for me. <laughs> That's why I'm, I'm glad that I got to experience this shit. And now I'm about to experience some new shit. Something even better. Like, and I didn't even think that was possible. But now I know. I'm about to experience something even better. Because I'm taking a chance on me. And you should do the same. But I can't tell you what to do, baby. You got to do it yourself. I can't tell you what to do. You got to do it yourself. If you feeling unfulfilled, how you gonna get fulfilled? Sit with yourself and find that out, man. Cause before you know it, like I said earlier, you be looking back on these times like, damn, I really did it, y'all. I got it out the mud. <laughs> I'm so proud of myself. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> Anyways, appreciate y'all watching, man. I'm about to wrap it up. I'm just happy that y'all here with me on another episode of Lord of Perfected Work. If y'all ain't been to my website, shoelovesrebels.com, hit that shit up, man. Come holla at your boy, Lord Shoe X, be in the cut, for real, for real. I don't really be out here like that, but best believe, man, when I get out this country, I'm out this bitch. <laughs> I'm finna be out this bitch. I'm going to be out here floating through the lands like, what's good, baby? What it do, baby? Anyways, man. I'm out this bitch. <laughs> Lord Shoe X out, man. I love y'all. appreciate y'all for watching. 
Lord Perfected Work. Check the website out. Got some new music coming for y'all soon. Much love. I'm out this bitch.